my name is Trinity Zop, and the season had a rough start in Hot Springs. I lost a match, but hopefully this year we're going to do good. And um, as a team, we'll do better. As Lee Deadwood team, girls, we've been placing in every tournament we've been in. And so hopefully we can end the year with a good placement during state. Hi, I'm Miles Jenner. I'm the 144-pounder. I'm a senior this year. Uh, the season's going all right so far. Uh, had a big bunch of big tournaments and a bunch of uh, good region matchups and just mat good matchups in general. We have a bunch of younger kids in this year, this season, filling in some big spots. Zaid Seaman, he's our 150 pounder. Park Millard, our 113 pounder. But Dave, we this big this team has became a lot came a long way, you know, this year. Um, we just took third or second at the Hardin County invite for team. Uh, we had five or six people in the finals, uh, as myself. Um, and I think we only ended up losing a total of like five to six matches. Um, we've had some big tournaments in Hot Springs Extravaganza. We took, as a team, I'm going to say eight out of like 30 teams. We've had um, a bunch of place winners. Um, I wrestled, I ended up wrestling the number five or six kid in the state, ended up beating him. We're with Mike Sneesby, the Gold Diggers wrestling coach. You got a great group of kids and quite a few seniors. We do. We got uh, eight seniors on the squad, um, led by uh, Trinity Zop on the girls' side. And then on the boys' side, we have Miles Renner, uh, Makai Hayes, Dylan Mead, uh, Ethan Hess. Um, all those guys have been kind of fixtures in our program for a long time. Um, some of those kids have been wrestling varsity for the Gold Diggers since they were in seventh grade. Uh, so they've been around the block, they've got lots of experience, and you know it's been a fun start to the season. They've kind of taken more of a leadership role this year and taken a little bit more accountability for the team side of things and not such a, a selfish side, as you will. Um, so it's really fun to see them really grow and mature on that side of their wrestling other than just the skill side. Um, to see them grow like that is, is pretty neat and it, it kind of shows in our performances during the weekends. Um, when, they, when they start leading on the weekends that everyone kind of follows suit um, and all our younger kids, we got a, quite a few eighth graders on the team that really look up to those kids. So it's, it's a big deal for them to see them lead like that. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really good exposure for them. Talk more about that senior leadership. It's pretty amazing that they, you know, from where they've came a couple years ago before myself and Tyler kind of took over the program, um, there wasn't much leadership. The kids were just kind of there and didn't really understand the team aspect of wrestling. You know, wrestling's an individual sport, um, but the stronger the team bond, um, it, it really is more of a team sport than it is individual. Um, you know, confidence breeds champions. Um, it, they just, they've done a really, really good job of transitioning into that leadership role. So I'm super proud of them. And you've had some good success this year. We have, um, you know, on the girls side of it, uh, a couple weeks ago down in hot springs, probably should have won the tournament. I think we finished in second by 10 or 11 points. You know, that's only a couple matches. Um, they had a really good showing in spearfish last weekend. We finished third as a team. Um, and then the guys side of it, we... Last weekend in Harding County, we probably should have won the tournament. We put six guys in the finals, and we didn't have quite quite the round we wanted at the end there, and we ended up second place by seven points. Um, but it was fun for those kids to chase a team title at a tournament. They haven't had that in a long time, so to get that that feeling of you know chasing a team title was pretty cool. Um, they their their wrestling is really really growing, um, and it seems like week by week it seems to get better and better each time. And coach, you've got a couple of good assistants. Yes, we do. Um, you know, Tyler's Tyler Watterson from Spearfish. Um, he's been helping out with the program for a couple of years. Uh, he helps out with the middle school as well. Um, so having him in the room has been a huge help because he, you know, st he's starting to develop those middle school kids and they're transitioning into high school. And we're starting to see that um, this year. You know, we got quite a few eighth graders that are wrestling varsity this year, and it's. Part of it be, is because of Tyler and what he does um, on that side of it. You know, Kelly Singer is the head middle school coach. He does a great job. And then we also have a, uh, another assistant, Sean Badwound. He's 
from in the area. His kids wrestled in the area. Um, so they just, they all do a really, really good job. All the kids respect them and respond to them, which is the most important part. So it's nice to have those other guys in the room to, you know, catch that stuff that I don't see. And coach, how about goals this year? We write goals up on the, on the board pretty much every day. Um, and we kind of use those to live by every day in practice um, to get to our ultimate goal in February. And the ultimate goal is to be on the podium at the state tournament. I think last year we had, I think we had six qualifiers last year uh, between the boys and the girls. You know, I expect that number to jump this year. It, we're, our goal is to get nine or 10 kids at the state tournament. Um, and I think, I think we have capability of, of placing almost all of those. So we're setting our, our expectations really, really high. Um, and I think the kids realize that and it, it pushes them in practice to get, to get to those goals that they've set for themselves. Great to visit with you. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. I appreciate you guys coming up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.